Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial in Maya. Today I'm going to show you how to create a necklace. I already did a tutorial on this topic but it wasn't complete because um, I wasn't taking in consideration the rotation of the character so now I have a full body rigged and it's not full because it's in progress it's from one of my students and it's not yet done but it's going to work for the for this tutorial. So yeah, I'm going to rig this specific necklace, okay, which is a little thick and it has three ornaments. Okay, so I'm going to first take in consideration the ornaments. So first of all, if you're using Maya 2020, you just select the vertex that is nearest to the ornament. Uh, and then uh, go to rigging, constraint, and rivet. If you are not using Maya 2020 or uh, you're using a lower version, you have to go to select the vertex and then the object and point on poly, constraint, point on poly. It's going to be quite similar. And then just select the ornament and then the rivet and hit P. Okay. By doing this, when you select the vertex of the necklace and you move them, the ornament is going to move beautifully with the uh, necklace. Okay. Now we have to take in consideration the necklace itself. So I'm just going to select edge select one of the edges of the geometry, go to modify, convert polygon edge to curve, delete by type history, and then uh, if you select it, it's going to have a lot of vertex and we don't need that much. So go to modeling again, curves, rebuild, and just uh, Put here how many controls you want to have for the necklace. For me, six would be great, but in this case I'm going to use eight, taking in consideration that maybe I want to move this separately. So eight. Okay. And then just isolate the curve and the necklace and the ornaments as well and move the vertex of the curve a little bit near to the uh, to the necklace itself and a little bit more in the space of the ornaments especially because there is going to be the controls in here for example I have this in the side and this one is a little lower so let me put it here Okay, and selecting this one should be more in the center, and this one too, and this one here, one too. This one is pretty much correct. Okay, so now I have something decent to work with. Awesome. So, okay. Select the, the curve, put it in isolate mode, select each vertex, uh, it doesn't matter the order but it should be like in some order, so like from here, uh, deform, cluster and make it relative, okay? Turn this on, create, uh, again a cluster. and create one per vertex okay you can name them if you want but I'm not going to do it for this tutorial just going to create a, a controls so shapes sphere you can use any tool for the controls I'm using in Comet because I use it for pretty much everything. 
So again, if you don't have comment, you have to download it for for from Google and it's free. Okay. And then just uh, write necklace padding of two suffix cc. I'm using cc in this case for the suffix. Okay, and just well, I'm going to put the cluster into the necklace even though they it's not going to do anything because it's currently relative. So if I put it in here and I move, the cluster is not doing anything. So by order I'm doing it, but I need to do an extra connection here that I will do later on. What? Okay. Okay. Now select all of the um, controls and go to commit zero out or delete by type history or uh, freeze transformations and just we need to clean this okay it's very important and now I have to connect the control to the cluster for real so window general editors connection editor connection editor Okay, select the necklace control and the cluster. Reload left of the necklace, reload right of the cluster. If you see a lot of stuff in here, just uh, turn off show non keyable in both left display, right display. Connect translate, rotate the scale if you want. We don't need the scale though, but just do it. Uh, for being more efficient, I'm going to do this like fully. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Translate, translate, rotate, rotate, the scale, scale. Translate, translate, rotate, rotate, the scale, scale. Translate, translate, rotate, rotate, the scale, scale. And so on and so on. Okay. Now when I move the control, it's moving the cluster <sighs> and it's giving me double transformations which is not good because I parent them, which I shouldn't, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, so here are the clusters. Okay, now I'm going to select all the zero outs of the of of the controls and then control G and create a necklace group. This poly to curve is going to be necklace C V. Okay. And I'm going to select the go to the form wire. Select the geometry, enter, select the curve, necklace CV, enter. And now when I move this, uh, this cluster is moving the curve and somehow is moving the geometry, but not as we wish. So I'm just going to select the geometry, go to wire one and drop of distance to 100. There we go. Okay. You can modify the number if you don't want this to move. I mean, it depends on how you want it to want to you want this to move. And if you want to add more control, you can add more control. But for me, it's just an adjustment rig, so it's fine. 
Okay. Now the big thing. Select the uh, necklace wire and the necklace CV and the necklace itself and put it into the necklace group and put the necklace group into the hierarchy that uh, is nearest. Don't put it in the neck joint or in the neck. Uh, control just put it in the in the one from from the spine so put it in here and now mo when you move everything it's going to move and when you rotate it it's going to rotate even if it has clusters and it's not rotating the wrong way and it's going to work exactly the same just keep the clusters group outside obviously as well this um, rivets so just uh, select all of them control G and do a not touch group okay and that's it everything moves it works it rotates and that's it so I hope you find this useful and don't forget to lock and hide the stuff that you don't want to use for example the scale and visibility or if you want to scale maybe just keep it but yeah and um, thanks for watching